So question four, estimated or suggested time 20 minutes for 15 marks. Again, we're looking at Q04 and putting it to Q04 finished. So let's do that straight away. Q04. And I'm going to right click save as. finished. So again, uh, the advantage of doing that is that you leave a clean copy of all of the initial files sent to you. It's a just good practice, I would say. It's something that you should get your students to, to do, especially for question four. Let's have a look at this. I can't remember. It has a special type of name, this problem. You're basically given lines of code, which are syntactically correct, but you need to uh, take them and put them into the correct order to, uh, to make it run. So here you've got table input output. Uh, you want the, table, the program to continually loop until the user inputs zero to stop. So that's, that's quite an interesting hint. I suppose it's telling you that there's going to be a while. And, and sure enough, here we see down in line 37 there is amend the code to make the program work and produce the correct output you will need to rearrange the lines use comments white space indentation and layout to make the program easier to read and understand not to mention run in terms of indentation do not change the functionality of the given lines of code do not add any additional functionality and save it to finish so this is a this is a interesting challenge and uh, one that has a few different solutions uh, and one that is well worth taking the time over. So I'm going to start thinking about how I'm going to do this. So I guess the first thing I'm going to do is give myself some space. Your students, of course, would have the full screen to work on. I'm keeping the question paper visible on my screen to the left here, which is cutting down the usable area. But so I'm going to start with cut, paste. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask for a year. Now it's interesting, it hasn't been coerced, so this uh, string year will be a string. So probably the next thing I want to do is So I notice here then that we've got a coercing of that to uh, integer. So now year, year is an integer. So that's not a bad start. So what are we going to do from there? While, this is where we're going to need our while. Where is it? Control X, Control V. While year is not equal to zero. So I'm going to be doing things. And basically what I'm going to be looking at is uh, if numbers are in this range, primary, if numbers in that range, secondary, if numbers in that range, college. I notice uh, that in my code, I've got year too small, year too big, which is quite interesting. So let's have a think. So I'm going to start off with year less than one. Control X, tab, control V. So if year less than one, that clearly is going to be year too small. And I'm doing cut and paste so that 
they're gone from here so that I don't get confused. If I need to go back and look at Q04 original, I still have that. So, what's next? Elif. Bigger than 13, less than 12. So I guess I'm going to take this one. No, let's take the year too big. Control X. Now this here is going to be year too big. Getting there. So now, if we go year less than seven, primary, Less than 12. Secondary. Then what do we have left? Let's have a look. Shrink this up. So, else, print college. So I'm going to hit save for now and have a stop and think where I'm up to. Um, <clears throat> and now, of course, we're going to need to go to keep uh, the loop running. We're going to need to prompt again for an input so that it keeps looping. Well, not not trivial. I don't find that completely easy, but it's manageable and in the time that you've got. So uh, use comments, white space, indentation. So uh, we're going to say here, start by asking for a year. Here we're going to say keep looping until zero is entered. You've got to love the uh, quality of English in, in a uh, programming language. Then we're going to go get new in in put. So, oh, let's run it. Save. Zero. It's exited. So far, so good. Two, primary, eleven, secondary, thirteen, college, fourteen, too big, one, primary, minus one, too small, minus twenty, minus eleven, too small. That's interesting. Oh, zero. Okay, so that looks like uh, 
I have a working uh, solution. I'm pretty happy with it. I, I haven't taken as much care as I might have done in a real live GCSE, but uh, let's call that a wrap. So the nice thing about this question four is, uh, again, we're showing where the assessment objectives uh, are being captured with the different uh, color codings here. But every one of the 15 marks here is uh, point-based. So there's no levels-based element in this mark scheme. So this answer would have uh, obtained all 15 marks. It's very straightforward. Uh, if you scroll down the mark scheme further, you see examples of uh, solutions. Solution one, uh, there's a solution two as well. So it's an interesting challenge. I think they're called Parsons problems. I, I don't, really don't remember. I will get in trouble, I'm sure, for not remembering that. But that's question four.